Uh, one of the features of, of the West Hill is that uh, we have an asymmetric shape of the bridge. So when we are walking now to the, uh, the starboard side, starboard wing, uh, which is our main maneuvering or main piloting station, uh, you can see that the, on the, with, the, with the operator is, uh, or the mate is standing on the starboard wing, uh, they have a lookout like uh, 240 degrees around the bridge. And the, um, the levers over here, it's for the levers for the, the azimuth thrusters on the stern. Uh, in the manual mode, we can uh, turn the vessel very, very fast or, or stop the vessel fast also if necessary. We are just uh, make a 180 degrees turn, and the uh, uh, the turn is now stopped. The vessel speed came from uh, uh, 10 and a half knots to 1.7 knots, and the uh, the vessel uh, uh, just uh, got ahead like a, like a ship's length. Uh, now we are using the levers for uh, aiming the thruster current, and we can use the uh, the aiming of the current uh, breaking the ice. We can break like uh, one meter size. Uh, very easily. Traditional icebreakers, certainly in North America, are based on fixed propellers and shafts, large rudders, that sort of thing, and that limits their maneuverability. Uh, the Aquamaster or the ABB Azipod drives give you much more flexibility and directional thrust. You can thrust right 90 degrees to the side of a ship, and that gives you that ability to turn very quickly and actually move in the ice very quickly. These kind of propeller systems are still the biggest one in the world and these allowed us to go in full speed uh, through the big, uh, thick, thick ice.
is cleaning the, our main engine's oil, lubricant oil. Like, a, like you have normally in car, you change your couple of liters of oil. But here is maybe 6,000 liters of oil. That's why we clean it all time. So it's so expensive to change it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 